Hello, my name is Daniel. In this video, you will learn how to set up a new multiplayer mode. To be able to test multiplayer, you need to be connected to the subsystem, Steam for example. You also need to make sure your firewall doesn't block the connection. If this happens, try to disable the firewall. To be able to connect to your map with your teammates, you need to start your game from L start level. Your menu should have the lobby game mode. For any gameplay map, you need to have a gameplay game mode and gameplay player controller, or the child. Here you have created a child from the gameplay game mode and player controller. Later, I will show you how can you modify them. Let's create a multiplayer map and set it up. To be able to spawn AI or players, you need to have a team player start. In this blueprint, you have to choose a team. In this example, I will set 4 player starts as a friend team and another 4 as enemy team. Here we will make a capture flag mod. But you can make any mod you want. In the game mod you have add team points function, so you can add points to any team at any time. In this mod we will get points while we stand in a capture zone. AI will automatically run to the not capture point. You can change the name of the point as you want. For AI, you need to have a nav mesh on your map. To check if the nav mesh is compiled successfully, press P button on your keyboard. In the game mode, we write default statistics. You can add your own statistics for your own game mode. But for this, you need to add a new row in the enumeration and then add a new statistic to the data table. Of course, you can add your own statistics in any place. Here you have time spent in game mode statistics, win and lose statistics in this game mode. You can also set AI that will be spawned in the game mode. You can choose any pawn class you want. You can have a timer in the game. The game will be finished after timer reached game time. Here you can also set wait time, a delay to spawn widgets and the main player characters. To make anything with just spawned AI, overwrite on actor spawned event. Here you can bind his death event to respawn him, for example.
In the player controller, you can choose widgets of the gameplay. Gameplay widgets is your main game overlay with cross, health, stamina and so on. Team widget is your multiplayer widget. You can force load it not only in multiplayer. Gameplay chat is the chat widget that will be available in the future updates. You can take casual respawn mechanic from flag game mode. The same thing is with tanks or planes game modes. You can choose ready game modes or create your own based on existing. To create a new game slot, you need to go to the play menu and create new game type button. In this button, you have to set the name of the map you want to load. You also can set up information for loading screen, icon, background image, name. In the play menu create new event dispatcher. 
and call it on game type button pressed. For the new game type, we need to add game mode info widget to the play widget. Here you can set the name, description and visual settings for your current map. Add new game mode reference to the play bind event to be able to start the game. Bind back button to return to the play menu. Bind new game mode button to open our new game mode info widget. We need to set this info as a reference to the new active widget function. We need to have our map in the Complete Shooter Maps folder. This is very important for the multiplayer.
Now after we have your map, you can now load it through the menu.